Hello guys, in this video I'll teach you how to install Love Person script. This video does not include how to install or stash configure Hamscad with it. Alright, so after you have purchased the resource, go to keymaster.5m.net, sign in, go to your granted assets, and you should have it uh, here. It's called Scully underscore law enforcement underscore escrow. Download that. And you're also going to need Scully underscore perms. And open that too and then click on code and download zip and keep this open as you're going to need these two lines of code so open your folder and go to your downloads um, let's start off with scully uh, perms main so let's extract it go into that folder and remove the dash main and then copy this to your resources folder so resources then make a new folder scripts and then in that make a new folder call it scully open that up and paste it in uh, let's open uh, another one go to your downloads and then um, extract law enforcement.pack.zip open that up and then um rename actually actually go back and rename it and remove the without pack copy the script go to the folder again and paste it in the same directory where scully underscore perms is then open scully underscore law enforcement and then cut this script or copy it doesn't really matter i'll just cut it Go back to your server.cfg and paste it in the same directory where server.cfg is located. Then you'll want to open up server.cfg and then you'll want to add uh, this line above everything you will ensure. So call it, uh, add a new line called exec um, scully underscore or law enforcement.cfg or just copy the name and then just paste it then let's ensure the script itself so ensure scully underscore law enforcement and also ensure actually no ensure um the parameters so ensure scully underscore perms and then ensure um scully law enforcement let's make a a new section let's call it scully perms so scully perms and then um Let's go back to his github and copy both of these lines and add them here all right now we'll go back to your resources folder scripts scully and then scully underscore perms then open up config underscore uh, config all right i'll just enable debug because i like that and then let's put in the guild id so go to your server on discord and then copy the server id if you do not have this option go to your settings advanced and then enable developer mode copy the server id put it here and let's get a discord bot token so open your web browser search up discord.dev applications new application let's call it perms and create the application Go to bot, reset the token, yes do it, put in your account password or 2FA token, copy the token, the bot token, paste it here. And do not close this yet, we're gonna disable public bot, so nobody could add this bot in their server and then enable all the privileged, privileged gateway intents. And save changes, go to OAuth, and that's scopes, enable bot. Go to administrator uh, select administrator i don't recommend this permission um i'll just do it for this video and then select the server and then click on continue authorize and then the bot should be added in the server as you can see now let's create a new role and let's call it lspd and actually i'm gonna just keep it to one department i'm not gonna do multiple now so let's go back to visual studio code 
and delete this line of code. Alright, um, let's call it LSPD and then put in the role ID. And that's it for configuring the permissions um, and the Scully underscore params. Uh, close out of config.lua and then go here, go back, go into Scully underscore law enforcement, and you should have a folder called data. Here you can configure the whole script, you can do everything, you can uh, configure the CAD, departments, jail, uh, whatever, the jail settings and stuff, miscellaneous office props, and much more. Uh, let's open the par departments.lua. So we'll just do LSPD for now. So we have a department called LSPD. We'll use this department. So go back to your server.cfg and go here, make a new line and call it add underscore ace group.lspd. So this comes from the scully underscore perms resource. And then again, group.lspd allow. And this comes from the department LSPD. So let, let's say we'll name this um, test, for example, that would be group.test. So add ace group.lspd allow group.test allow. So pretty much allow people with the LSPD role in Discord to have access to the test department. Okay. Let's save the script and revert this back. And that should be it for configuring it in the um, data folder. Let's go back again. Go back, back, back. And open Scully underscore law enforcement dot CFG. Let's put a unique key value pair. Um, just mash your keyboard. Just ensure it's unique. Then we're going to set up the webhooks. So create a new channel. It's called logs. Go to settings, integrations, webhooks. It's called um, LEO. Save changes, copy webhook URL and paste it in. And then enable permissions, set this to true. Do the blips, that's where you can see players on the map, on their on your mini map. And here you have uh, all other configuration stuff. Jump minutes, etc. Pretty cool. If you don't like uh, to go to locations, go on duty, you can also just do it by command. I'm uh, just looking here. Uh, duty location, set this to false, and you could go on duty with just a command. Um, I will not use that at the moment. All right, so now just start your server or restart it and open up 5M. Oh, actually, no, I have to give myself the role. So go back to Discord and give yourself the LSPD role. Otherwise, you cannot, uh, you know, have the department slash join it. So let's connect to the server. Ensure you have the role before you connect. And let's wait. All right, I have just loaded in. Um, so this is BCS, so I'm not going to go here. Here, uh, LSP. Let's uh, TP. Alright, here we are. Alright, so now press E to go on duty. And you should also receive logs on Discord. If you open Discord, you can see uh, if people go on duty. The timestamp. Very cool. So now if you press F5, you should have the LEO menu. And yeah, have fun. You can do cool stuff there's a whole config if you guys want i could do a whole video on how the config works pretty cool and thank you guys for watching